सहिता कुरवंतु नो मंगलं गंगा गोमति गोपतिर गणपतिर गोविंद गोवर्धनो गीता गोमय गौरी जोगिर सुता गंगा धरो गौतम गायत्री गरुणोग दाधरो गया विद्या नाम चुदुर संप्रदम कुरवंतु नो मंगलम ओम कल्याणम प्रांत एंड एवरीबॉडी ब्लेसिंग प्लीज पार्वत
Go back this way, sir. So when I say 
It's now time to welcome the MC for today. He's an actor and has hosted shows for the likes of Arjun Singh, Adnan Swami, Kumar Swami, Udin Dharan, Alpha Agni, Sunny Neo, Akshay Kumar, Madhuri Dixit, Sonak Chisana, and many, many more. He's also a radio jockey with Radio Zindik. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Put your hands together for Sunny Moya!
being formed, not just between two individuals, but between two families. So it's like Honga ki kehde hai ke rishte nasha ban jate hai. Kehde hai ke rishte nasha ban jate hai, kuch kehde hai ke rishte sada ban jate hai. But in rishte ko agar dil se nibhaya jai, to yehi rishte jine ki vada ban jate hai. It's time to welcome Lord of Wong, Janet Stavind!
So as we settle down, let me, uh, and make sure you get seated and if we can close the bar for about 45 minutes, that'll be great. Uh, as we settle down, let me reiterate the goal for this evening. The goal for this evening is of course to get to know about this lovely couple right here and to make sure that you stay entertained. And I have one additional goal. If Janet and your family, Stephen's family, are listening to me, I have one additional goal which is to, to teach you something which is very important to most Indians, Bollywood. So I'll try my best throughout the evening to teach you some Bollywood. Uh, at this time, I know what some of you are wondering. Who is this handsome guy speaking on the microphone? Thank you for calling me handsome, I love you too. <laughs> it was not a joke, I was serious. <laughs> my name is Sunny Moza, I'm an actor, MC, radio jockey and stand-up comedian. I'm originally from Kashmir and I live in the Bay Area. If you would like to know more about me, you can always go to sunnymoza.com and if you would like to watch my movies, they are available on Amazon Prime as well. And I do want to thank Aaron, Anita ji, Renu ji and the entire Goswami family for having me here and making me a part of their celebration. So can we give the Goswami family a big round of applause? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now with a show of hands, how many people here do not understand Hindi or Punjabi? Okay, this section here, few people here, awesome, so significant number of people. So here's the thing, there will be some things which will happen on stage here today which will be in Hindi or Punjabi and I will give you two tips on how to follow along during any non-English portions. Tip number one, follow the Punjabi style, which drink as much as you can and very soon you will not only start understanding Hindi, you will start speaking fluent Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam as well. And rest of you don't be surprised that by the end of this evening, all these non-Desi people start doing burra chakade phatte. It might happen. You never know. Tip number two. Look around and see, find somebody who you think understands Hindi. And then it's very simple. When they clap, you clap. When they laugh, you and sometimes just to confuse them, laugh louder than them. Like, what does she mean? I don't And before I call the first speaker to the stage, I have one public service announcement, which is... Throughout the evening, please do not throw any money on the floor. If you do feel the urge to do that, I would suggest a... And you can keep it right there on the DJ booth or something, but do not throw that on the floor. All the non daisy wondering why would anybody throw money on the floor, let me explain. We Indians, when we go out to shop or buy something, we bargain as much as possible to save a few dollars. And then we are the same Indians on occasions like this when we are happy. That we are safe on the floor. Now you understand where we come from, but now you are part of it too. It's too late. You are half Indian. And now let's start the process of getting to know this lovely couple. And we'll start it by calling upon Aaron's Mama G's and mama in Hindi means moms. And in Indian culture, mamas are very, very, very popular historically. As we all know, Tans Mama, Shakuni Mama. <laughs> but I have been Ganesh Mama or Rajesh Mama. Ka. So let's give a big round of applause to both the mamas, Ganesh Kumar and Rajesh Kumar. <laughs> Sarji.
caso de esto. family they have a new bond which is being formed right now so like i said we have to know more about the couple we just heard about eren from his mama ji's and that now i'm going to call upon somebody who knows lauren the longest that means we're moving from eren's mama to lauren's mama so can i please can we please give a big round of applause to lauren's mom janet stevens Aaron, 
and the closest thing that I heard at that time was an Indian name called Arun, which is spelled A R U N. So when I saw the spelling of his name, A A R O N, I started calling him Arun. And he was so nice, he never objected. So for the rest of the year, his name was Arun. The reason I'm telling you this is, throughout the evening, please bear with us, sometimes our English can also sound like Hindi. And right now, I want you to speak some Hindi, and that's one of the process of making sure that I Bollywoodize you. So I have this famous dialogue for you. You have to say, this is written phonetically, and uh, you have to say this line to Lauren. Take your time, it's written phonetically. And the way we'll know how she did is, I will ask you to tell me which movie this line is from. So let's see how she does. Janet, no pressure. Ja'a, Lauren, Ja'a. Which movie? No, 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 first tell me which movie? Which one? They know what, which means they could figure out the movie. Excellent job. Thank you so much. One more time for Janet, everybody. And like I said earlier, some of the family could not make it. There are some people who helped a lot from India. So quickly for acknowledgements, I know she is not ready. I'm going to call upon Erin's mom so we can thank a certain number of people. Uh, Anita Ji, can we please have you on stage? Can we give a round of applause to Erin's mom? Aaron and Lauren. It has the same ring to it as if 
but bubbly and not bad all right so you know growing up if anybody is close to you it's always your sibling aur shaadi yaad rahe na rahe bhai ki shaadi hamesha yaad rehti hai having said that it's time for the first surprise act of the evening and for that i'm going to call upon stage aaron's lovely sister sara along with his cousin nitin so can we give sara and nitin a huge round of applause
So, first of all, tell us how you are feeling after four days of functions and all that. Are you tired and relieved? What's happening? Um, I'm working off adrenaline, so the energy and the fun that's just keeping us going and we love it. Um, I, I could see that the moment you came in, the energy in the dance that you have. So let me, let me ask you a few questions just to get to know you guys better. So tell us, out of you two, who's a better dancer? Oh, this guy. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to see that during the open dance floor. Who's a better singer? Okay, let's see. Uh, who loves to sleep more? Oh, this. Oh, okay. At least we have a unanimous decision there. Who loves food more? This guy. Of the evening, out of you two, who's more likely to drop their phones in the toilet? Darren. <laughs> okay, last one. Out of you two, who has a more or who has the craziest family? Actually, don't answer that. We know the answer. <laughs> okay, let's do a quick compatibility test. Compatibility. So, can we play that audio? Listen to this audio and tell me what you hear. And I'll ask you the same question too. Play the audio, Salim. Okay, tell me what did you hear about it? Whatever you heard, there's nothing specific in there. Like, oh, um, Laura? And uh, what did you hear? Yanni. Yanni. So once again, what did you hear? Laurel. Laurel. And Ed, what did you hear? Yanni every time. Every single time. What did you guys hear? Okay, how many people heard Laurel? Laurel. Laurel. Fantastic. Put your hands down. How many people heard Yanni? Great. See, the same audio play. But people heard it differently and this is a perfect couple because they heard it differently which means they are compatible. And for the Desi audience, I will tell you all the wives. Wives, can you raise your hand? Desi wives, can you raise your hand so I can see where you are? Desi wives. So here's the thing. This is what happens. Your husband can say, Aaj ghar jaldi aana. Somehow your husband says, Aaj ghar daru bhi kya aana. It's not their fault. This is the thing culprit right there. Alright, so now because I'm having everybody while you would speak Hindi, I have to do the same thing with you, Lauren, as well. Here's a line for you, and you have to say this line to Aaron. And I know this is a little long, but because now you're part of the family, you have to try it out. It's written phonetically. And once again, I'll ask you which movie this dialogue is from. Lauren, over to you. <laughs> Jano, Aaron, Bob. Who's going to tell me the movie? Who's going to tell me the movie? Om Shanti Om, which means you did really good. Fantastic. And the irony is, most likely, Aaron has no clue what she said. So, but Aaron, you're not off the hook. I don't know how romantic you are, but we want to see a demo. You have to say this to Lauren. <laughs> Lauren was better than him, yeah? What kind of basi is this? So Lauren, you can see the recording later on and once you know the dialogues of the movies, you will understand you did much better than him. <laughs> Give it up for Aaron and Lauren for being such good sport. And now we'll continue the process of getting to know them and for that I'm going to call upon Aaron's buddies and usually friends are the ones who know the secrets that family does not know. And I hope these two can spill some beans. So can we give a round of applause to Brian and Joey? I love the beer game going on. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Brian Fine. I've known Aaron for almost a decade and Lauren since he met her. 
Well, I want to start off by thanking the Goswami family for this beautiful event and this whole weekend. They've been so generous with this, and I, I love being here. This is my first Indian wedding, so thank you very much for that. Um, I, I want you to <laughs> realize, like, the first time I met his family, I called them by the wrong names. I called his mom, Naveen, and his dad, Demeter. And I would have been fine if they corrected me, which they did two years later. So this went on for a while. Now, imagine how nice they must be to let an idiot like me stay in their house, make me blue and non for breakfast, pick me up at the airport, Oh, and I don't even remember their names. Aaron is cut from that same kind of cloth. He's kind to a fault. Like, and like Lauren, I also... ...for my relationship with Aaron. I met him through Craigslist, and we became roommates. Uh, throughout that time, he was a brother to me. He gave me advice on life and career. He offered help and included me on his fund whenever possible. He took me to my first music festival, which at a, this was at a time when I wasn't going to be able to afford it myself. This experience brought me a ton of joy and some great memories. Instead of paying each other back when we bought each other food, we would just let it ride. Where you plan to get the person's bill the next time you were out. Over time, uh, this ledger definitely weighed in my favor. <laughs> Aaron was generous to me, and I didn't even have to sleep with the guy. <laughs> Although the Venmo's we exchanged might suggest otherwise. <laughs> so once I knew Aaron, once I knew that once Aaron found his brighter die, the woman who would match his energy, he would shower her in love and generosity. Uh, I wasn't feeling like Aaron had found this person for a while, but then came more. I was surprised when Lauren ended up being the perfect match that Aaron needed. Someone who could meet the task of joining Aaron into his adventures in Japan. Lauren can, too. Lauren can surprise you like that. Especially when she wraps along flawlessly in a Cardi B, or drives an unfamiliar car through a blizzard at night in traffic. Thank you for that. I owe my life to you, I think. Lauren was generous too. There was a career choice where she works at a not where she been working at a nonprofit that helps less fortunate and kids. There were the Rice Krispie treats and other snacks she brought over to the house for Aaron and I to enjoy. And there was her unending kindness and consistent selflessness. All right, I'm wrapping it up. I've got one more story. All right, nine months into the relationship, Aaron brought Lauren to a music festival which is what he does for all the people he really likes. Uh, this was Outside Lands in San Francisco. I told the two of them on Saturday that there was a show I wanted to see that night after the festival was over. It was really late, it was like midnight, so it was gonna be a uh, long day. Uh, for Aaron, this was more or less in line with what he wanted, but I knew this was a big ask of Lauren. It had been a really warm day, Exhausted after walking miles on foot through crowds and noise. Many times that night I would have understood if Lauren had stopped and said, we go home. We couldn't get an Uber right after the show, right after the day the festival ended, and so we were walking to a bus along for a long time. Uh, I played some 90s music at the bus stop to re-energize, and Lauren was nice enough to sing along with me. On the bus, we were falling asleep, not able to keep our eyes open. Then more walking. Then a stop at a bar for a bathroom break. Then a long wait in line. Then a hot, sweaty, crowded music venue. But we made it. I loved it. I had a great time. And whether or not Lauren meant it, she said she enjoyed it too. That whole night, there was never a complaint about my activity choice or a suggestion that we go home instead. And now, you know, Lauren can stand up and say no when it comes to doing something. 
you know, to things she doesn't want to do, which is important when you're there. Uh, that night, though, she put her comfort aside because she cared about what I wanted and making my night better. The next day at the festival, I got a moment alone with Aaron and told him he should seriously think about marrying Nolan. He told me he felt that way for months. Uh, if you could raise your glass, I have a toast. Lauren and Aaron to charitable and beautiful souls. I hope that your marriage serves as proof that when you dare to give your uh, love and generosity to the world, it'll return the favor. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Joey. Joey speaks too much. <laughs> but he just told me that he did the talk here last night. So, uh, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Joey. And uh, now, earlier we heard from Sarah, which means groom's sister. Now, it's only fair that we also hear from the bride's sister. Now, because it's bride's sister, I have to welcome her in a total desi way. Ladki ka chahara khilta hai kaanon ki baliyo se. लड़की का चेहरा खिलता है कानों की बालियों से जीजा जी का दिल घर में लगा रहता है सालियों से आज आप खाओ पियो ऐश करो और कौन का स्वागत करो जोरदार तालियों
Thank you so much. Thank you. And now, before we do the grand finale performance by Guru Guru Dance, I want to warm you up. And how do I do that? Listen to two things. Can we set two chairs here for Lauren and Aaron because that's where they will watch the dance from? And if you can request you once we have the seats here, you can move there. And in the meantime, as we are doing that, can I have Stephen, Wyatt, Tosh, Corin, Maggie, Kat on the stage. And Janet, please take care of the kids. Janet, you're okay with handling three kids? I'm sure you are. You handle four kids. Mari, chodiya choro se kam hai All right. And Naveen ji, kaam hai Naveen ji? Naveen ji, aaya, abhi aaya, we need... See, when we do Indian movies, there are white people as token. Right now, it's white movie, Indian person has to be as a token. So, can I request you to uh, go ahead and sit on that other side, if you don't mind? So, uh, Sunil ji, kaam hai? Sunil ji, kaam hai? Aapke bhai bhaag gaya kya? Where is, where is your brother, sir? Yeah, here's your brother. Follow him too. Follow him too, if you see him. <laughs> Alright, so come this side, come this side, we'll face that side. So, this is again the process of uh, making sure that I initiate you into Bollywood because right after this we'll have a grand performance by Gurus of Dance. So this is like a warm up. So what we'll do, we'll do a flash mob for you right now. And flash mob will be very simple six steps, I'll teach you those steps and then we'll do that along with the music. All good? All good? And the song that we have so many South Indians in this room will do a dance on Lungi dance. And the reason I say South Indian, remember I'm from Kashmir, for me even Punjabis are South Indians. Not everybody has good geography, thank you so much for looking at your maps. Alright. Alright, so let's do one thing. I'll teach you the steps and then we'll line up. Lungi dance. Lungi in Hindi means uh, men's skirt. Men's skirt. That's what lungi means. So let's start the step. Six simple steps. So we'll stand. You can you can spread out till the edge of the floor if you don't mind. First step. Mucho potra round humake, which means twirl your mustaches. Ajay, ayya, ayya, ayya. Ayya. We don't have to stand in line. Just we can form gaps. Just ayya, ayya, ayya. Oh yeah, please, please, please. Okay, first step. Let's do the first step. Twirl your mustache and hop on this side. One, two, three, four. Then play with your glasses, imagining glasses. Five, six, seven, eight. Then coconut me lassi milake. And I hope you know what lassi means by now. If not, find out. That step is one, two, three, four. You have to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time from the top. First step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Then the simplest step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Asa lagera bol rahe ho. Wo do. Jo khada hai na, usko yaha bula lo. And then the last step of the dance is lungi dance, where you lift your imaginary lungi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do one more time with the top quickly and then with music, all right? If you're dancing, then be here, okay? Are you dancing with the steps? You know the steps? Show me the steps. Okay, your dad, you show me the steps. Dad is like, even I don't know. All right, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, Alright, I think they're ready. 
Are you ready for a surprise performance? Are you ready? All right. Let's talk. So you stay there. You take a step forward. You stay there. You take a step forward. You stay there. You take a step forward. You stay there and you take a step forward. All right. DJ Salim, are you ready? All right. Let's do it all together. I'm a 
one more time. Oh, I know you can do better there. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for the lovely bride and groom. And with that said...
good times tonight or what, sir? No, 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 you guys need to be louder than that. I said, are you guys ready to have a good time tonight or what, sir? Right now, I'm gonna turn the mic over to your live performer. Make some noise for my man, Mr. Gary Bussy, one time, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Hello. You guys ready? Yeah. First of all, I want to say congratulations to the lovebirds on your big day. Okay? I'm going to give you a little advice. It's about love, okay? So my first lines are about love. They say it makes you do crazy things, okay? And there's no cure for it. Sorry, too late now. Are we ready, guys? Ishak ki tera kita koi na daru Te ishak tero ki avale Akil shakil amale karte Es ishak ne kamule chale I'm there. 
ਗਲੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਮਰ ਕੁਰਕ ਦੀ ਅਸਲੇ ਪੌਰ ਟਟਾਕੇ ਨੀ ਮੌਸਰਾ ਵਰਗੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਦੱਬਦੇ ਵੱਡਿਆਂ ਘਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਾਕੇ ਕਰ ਲੈ ਤਾਂ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਬਾਹਰ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਉਹਨੂੰ 